Hello, Libra. I hope the dishwasher is not too loud. I was not planning on doing this reading. So let's quickly cleanse the energy before we get into this wildness. Actually, let's just burn the rest of the sage. Okay, cleanse your energy as you enter along with the cards and my space and my energy. Thank you, spirit. I only allow communication from my ancestors, guides, and angels of the highest realm so it is all right so I was reading this really wild article right and my tape something kicked my table legitimately like it frightened me for a moment but I just took it as a sign to start the camera and do the reading. There was, I saw a centipede, okay? There was a centipede in my house and then I researched about um, Egyptian symbology. The centipedes were protectors of the graves, of the mummies. Um, they would scare away the scorpions, the snakes, and then I started reading about, all of a sudden I find this article that says, the legendary Chinese poison made by forcing snakes, scorpions, and centipedes to fight. Goo was a myth, mythological substance born from fear with a dramatic backstory. Why am I being prompted to read about this stuff? Like, what? <clears throat> Apparently in the southern mountainous regions of China, um, people told tales of women who seduced travelers, feeding men me meals laced with a powerful poison known as goo to keep their lovers from returning to their homes in the north. Goo poison, so the story went, was collected by sealing venomous snakes, scorpions, and centipedes in a jar and forcing them to fight and devour each other. The surviving creature containing a concentrated toxin. Goo was considered a slow-acting poison. It was said to have no taste, allowing unsuspecting victims to go about their normal lives for as long as 10 days before they started feeling ill. What? Dating as far back as 610, goo is also described as a form of black magic and witchcraft with the poison being a central part of the practice. Concocting a strong formula of goo poison required the five poisonous creatures in China. The viper, centipede, scorpion, toad, and spider. The poisonous insects, worms, and reptiles referred to as chong were thought of as evil spirits that possessed a vessel or human body. Goo poison has been associated with several regions and peoples in China throughout history, but was most commonly linked, whatever, to the women, the minorities of the South, creating stigma. Uh huh. Dangerous poisonous centipedes in southern China were one of the creatures often used in goo poison. There are several methods for formulating the goo. You collect the five poisonous creatures, place them in a jar to fight. 
This is done on the day of the Dragon Boat Festival, which is the fifth day of the fifth lunar month. I just heard something in my, and the energy shifted. My ears started to ring around me. Some say that the jar is kept in darkness for up to a year. The body of the remaining venomous creature which has eaten the others in the jar will become the source of the lethal poison. Let the cards do the talking, okay? About the goo. Locked doors can now be opened. We've received a key, Libra. We have received a key. One shuffle. Winds of change. Why am I needing, why, what about goo? What about goo? Wow. The golem. A close friend acts on your behalf. The moon. Here we go. There's that Egyptian influence. Anubis is here. Horus is here. Horus the elder. And Anubis. You will be guided through darkness. Definitely spiritually protected here. That's good to know. Thank you, spirit. What about the goo? Thank you, spirit. Wow. The mystic circle. Your abilities will be enhanced. With love and prosperity. The queen. More Egyptian influence at the bottom. One more card, please. Thank you. Wow. Okay. This is so interesting. I'm going to go ahead and get out the uh, Egyptian tarot. But we received the gate. And I heard gatekeeper. And then we have the queen back at the bottom. Love and prosperity. This could be a spiritual gatekeeper arriving in this reading right now. Whoa, look, I just cut the deck open. Look what I cut it to. You cannot make it up. Forces beyond your control intervene. Who all is here right now for this reading? Wow. We have a gatekeeper. Also, my guides, Anubis, we have Horus, we have my spiritual guide that is represented in the Golem card in this deck, <laughs> that is not playing any games when it comes to me, and we have a gatekeeper. Okay. Libra, let's keep going. You've got some people in their feelings. <clears throat> the water card is on the top. Emotions are at their peak. And now my throat chakra is being tickled. I heard deactivated. It's trying to be, someone's trying to deactivate my throat chakra. Okay, let's grab the Egyptian tarot. We're gonna shuffle three times and see what's going on here. We're gonna clarify each card. 
in the order let's do in the order they came out okay the golem the mystic circle the moon and the gate We have Cancer Presence here, the Chariot. We have a Taurus and a Libra Presence here, the Empress. Could have a Cancerian in Spirit. Who's protecting you, looking out for you, Libra. That would be so nice if the dishwasher stops. Okay. Who does Libra need protection against? A close friend acts on your behalf. Clarify the golem. We do have a queen of wands at the bottom. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, feminine. Who does Libra need protection against? Ooh. <clears throat> wow. Three of Pentacles. Something to do with your money, Libra. People that do the same thing as you, okay? Or could be attempting to do the same thing that you do at work or for work. Um, people you previously worked for or worked with, again, co-workers, they're definitely trying to affect your money. I've been getting the energy of someone trying to mess with someone's car again. Like that came about months and months ago and now it's coming back around. So just amping up the security is always great. Cameras and such, Libra. Okay. Because the chariot at the bottom, I feel like we're talking about your vehicle if you have one. If not, this could be the opposite, you know, of what another channeled message I'm receiving, not the opposite, but a different channeled message, this person that you need protection against could be a Capricorn Taurus, um, I was going to say Aquarius, but a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo, but also a Cancer. Clarify. Libra's abilities will be enhanced. Gosh, they keep dropping. I'm so glad the dishwasher stopped. The Six of Swords. The more you move away from the past, the more, the farther you move away from toxic patterns, people, or places, Libra, with the Six of Swords, the more your abilities will be enhanced. Facts. Yeah, look, and the more blessings will be bestowed upon you. Ace of Pentacles. The more you can be trusted, the more blessings will be bestowed upon you. Clarify the moon. Libra will be guided through darkness, please. Got the top two cards so we'll take them both the six of cups and the eight of wands so cryptic the eight of wands communication possibly coming in from someone either from your past in this life or a past life definitely protected libra okay Whoa, what's up? 
the chariot back at the bottom. You definitely have someone guiding you who was a cancer in this life <clears throat> on the other side. They're working with your guides is what I want to say. Like, for sure. For sure. Okay, gatekeeper. What about the gatekeeper card? Let's go. What about the gatekeeper card? There we go. A page of cups. The knave of chalices. With the ace of chalices at the bottom. This gatekeeper's recording your progress, Libra. Please clarify the knave of chalices and the gatekeeper. What's Libra's advice here with this gatekeeper energy? What is Libra's advice? We the ace of swords. You just keep living your truth, Libra. That's all you do. Okay. There's your sword. Whoa, this is so wild. What is really going on? The chariot has stayed at the bottom throughout the majority of this reading. So for some of you, there's a cancer riding really hard for you. This was a loved one who has passed over. And for another half of you, there is a cancer who is trying to be a gatekeeper could possibly be both for some of you as well, honestly. So your advice here is to um, keep your sword of truth held close to you, okay? Live in your truth. No matter who may or may not be watching, Any other advice for Libra here? <laughs> the Ten of Cups. Your spirit family is looking out for you, Libra. Period. Look at that beautiful Ten of Cups energy. The Ten of Cups, honestly, to me, is all your family and loved ones in spirit. Your spirit fam, okay? That's what the Ten of Cups usually is to me. Not in every tarot deck, but in a lot. And that's what it's showing up here again. And I can't make it up. <laughs> I promise. I don't know, you know, card tricks, okay? Wow, you're so spiritually supported from entities or humans that want to affect you, poison you. I don't know why I was prompted to read about that strange poison and the creatures that create the strange poison. I mean, it all was prompted from the research about the centipede. And then that came up and I was like, what? What 
Let's use the fortune deck for any other advice or messages for Libra from Spirit. Ooh, look what just flew out, Libra. <clears throat> Your luck will soon change. The black cat. And I just met a new black cat yesterday. That's so wild. And I told its owner, I said, all black cats are the luckiest, you know, of all. But I feel they're, the, they're some of the most tuned in. Like the black cats are some of the most spiritually in tune. But also the luckiest ones. Look, the black cat. Your luck will soon change. Wow. And I'm starting with the gift at the bottom of the Hungarian Gypsy. Let's go. Libra. Libra. Desire. And this gives me like a balcony, a terrace overlooking some type of water. Okay. It gives me vacation energy. Wow. Visit with hope at the bottom. So someone, you give someone hope. Someone's very hopeful about um, visiting you or you visiting them. Okay, they desire this very much, Libra. Hmm. What else about this desire and hope? What else about the desire and hope? This makes somebody else sad. The sadness card. Oh my gosh. I put it back and it came back out. <laughs> Spirit. Oh man. I, my, my apologies for not taking it the first time. Okay. They checked me quick. I put it back in because I'm like, oh, okay. Sadness. What about? So I put it back, right? And that's when I said, somebody's sad, though. This makes somebody sad. It must be a third party. Yeah, because of this communication coming into you. Brought by spirit, by the way, with the letter at the bottom. Um, I don't think this makes you sad. Like I said, this makes someone else sad. That you're desired or that someone wants to visit you. Or you visit them. Oh my gosh. Let's go. We make it rain. We make it rain on Libra. We make it rain. Fortune. Gosh, that song plays in my mind. Welcome to the good life. It's the life I live. But watch. Do be cautious, Libra. Do be cautious. Somebody's nickname could be Doobie. They could smoke a lot of doobies. And to me, doobies is an old term for J's, right? If you get what I'm saying. Because I don't know how much I can say here. So yeah, you've got enemy at the bottom. Or someone's initials could be D or B. Bad, I just heard, or switch it around, BD. Um, so somebody, and I heard bad drugs. Because you see here it says enemy, but then it says fiend. I think that's in Hungarian, or maybe a, another language. I think, no. What language is that? Maybe German. Anyways, fiend um, here in the U.S. is... A drug user so keep an eye out for people you know you know on it look he's lurking around the corner at night he does have a sharp object in his hand anything else Libra needs to be aware of 
Anything else Libra needs to be aware of, Spirit? Guarding the house, guarding your possessions, guarding your physical body is of the utmost importance. Some of you are getting ready to journey possibly to a new home. We have the chariot card at the bottom of the Hungarian Gypsy. Looky there. Surprise, surprise. It's called Journey, but look, it's literally a chariot. So two decks with the chariot at the bottom. What is up? Guard your car. Yes, I'm telling you what. Security it up, Libra. Security it up. Okay, I'm going to end this reading here. If you enjoyed these messages, give this reading a big thumbs up so I can reach more Librans. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay balanced, stay blessed. Until the next one, you guys. Peace.